Welcome to the first edition of the Sec Pro Video Supplement. This week, we're finishing up our two-parter on using Wireshark and diving into another piece of ransomware that caused a few security professionals to have sleepless nights last year. If you like the video supplement, make sure to check out the rest of the Sec Pro newsletter and fill in our survey. We've included loads of helpful tool suggestions this week, so there should be something for everyone there. Threat Hunting Using Wireshark in 2022 authored by Sai. In Part 1, we explored some of Wireshark's options for security analysis and information extraction from network traffic captures. In this article, we will discuss other methods to extract information from packet captures. Packet Filters We know that there are two filters, capture filters and display filters. Let's see how analysts can leverage them to narrow down the capture packet noise and clear it. We use capture filters to filter in a predefined manner and to view only particular criteria of traffic. Syntax of capture filter. Type, used to select the type of traffic like host, network, protocol, and port range. DIR, direction, is used to specify the inward or outward direction. Proto, protocol, specifies the possible protocol combinations, whether it's TCP or UPD, along with the port number. Display filters. The display filter is like a search engine in the PCAP file. It helps us to filter out packets and shows us the traffic as per the query. It supports all interfaces, ports and protocols. Additionally, Wireshark provides us a larger variety of filters for advanced analyses like creating macros in display filters and adding predefined expressions to the display filter, specifying vendors, IEEE standard devices, and so on. These can be explored under display filter macros and display filter expressions. How to use filters. The analyst can start with the type of packet that is required to filter first, for example IP, HTTP, or TCP. Once it is typed into the program, Wireshark will show autofill combinations of filtered links to extend the filter. Wireshark also provides the coloring of the display filter for both successful and unsuccessful syntax so that analysts can review the filter. Additionally, in case of a roadblock, analysts can use the display filter expressions GUI tab to create the query and insert it in the search box. Analysts can create custom queries within the scope and add them to the list for future reference. Using statistics. The statistics menu provides multiple statistics for analysts to investigate and connect the dots in terms of the range of the traffic, available protocols, hosts, and communications, and some transport layer details like DHCP, DNS, and HTTP2. For any investigation, a handful of basic information is required like IP address, port, protocol, and traffic details. You can use the statistics menu to view all available options. Capture file properties. This gives us the complete summary of the PCAP file. It shows us details of file, hash, network, packet, and packet comments. Resolved addresses. This feature helps analysts access a list of all the resolved hosts in one place. This will help analysts to connect the dots and identify if any malicious domain or IP has any communication within or outside the network. This tab also captures all the port details, which can help to understand which services have been used so far. Protocol Hierarchy This option gives a summary of all the protocols and their subsets from the capture file and helps analysts view the protocols in a hierarchy based on packet counts and percentages. Thus, analysts can view the overall usage of the ports and services. Analysts can also export all the data in CSV or YAML form. This feature doesn't have a display filter. Conversations. This menu helps to view all device communications at once on a single tab. It includes device, IP, port, and protocol level communications. These data can be exported in CSV and YAML. Endpoints. This tab shows the list of endpoints along with the packets from the traffic. This tab shows interface, IP, port, and protocol. Wireshark supports resolving MAC addresses to human-readable format using the manufacturer name assigned by IEEE. Configuration Profiles Wireshark is an advanced tool that helps analysts to accomplish in-depth packet analysis. Wireshark provides configuration profile templates that can be used by different roles in the security domain. Some can be used for the security operations, VAPT, and admin teams. 
you can use the Edit to Configuration Profiles menu to create, modify, and change the profile configuration. It also allows users to import pre-configured profiles to make the task easier for other analysts. Let's look at some of the common attack workflows which can be investigated using Wireshark captures. Decrypting HTTPS traffic using Wireshark. During web application activity analysis, analysts often run across encrypted TLS and SSL traffic. HTTPS uses TLS protocol to encrypt communications for enhanced security. It is impossible to decrypt the traffic and view the transferred data without having the encryption slash decryption key pairs. Similar to the TCP three-way handshake process, the TLS protocol has its handshake process. The first two steps contain client hello and server hello messages. Final step is authentication. This is how the secured communication starts when TLS is enabled. We can also filter the packets based on the display filters. Now let's see the HTTPS traffic to understand how TLS works. As this is encrypted traffic, we cannot view the traffic without the decryption traffic, which makes it more secure. These key pairs are generated during the connection establishment. Once we import the key pair into the tool, we can decrypt the captured traffic. This will give us additional information about the traffic. Depending on the packet details, you could have additional details like decrypted TLS, TCP re-establishment, and reassembled SSL. Once you've done this, you get access to encrypted data. It's easy to decrypt sensitive information. This also applies to other actions such as sniffing the clear text credentials attack, sensitive information transfer attack, and multiple other web-based attacks. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful.